Good morning, groovy citizens, and happy, satisfying Saturday. You guys, it is Saturday. I don't know about you, but I've had a long week. Productive week, but a long week nonetheless. So, it is finally Saturday. I'm super excited because I got to sleep in. Saturday and Sunday is the only two days that I get to sleep in. So, I enjoy it when I can, okay? Well, and uh, outside of holidays, of course. But anyway, so it is quarter after 10, you guys. I'm getting this video done early. I know, I know, I normally don't get it done till late in the day, but I'm getting it done early because I need to get it uploaded. <clears throat> then I need to get to my sister's house to, because we're going to, she's riding with me to our pastor Emeritus's house. Today is his birthday. And so we're going to go over and help celebrate his birthday today from noon to two o'clock and then i'm going to leave there to go to trisha's and we are going to be working on family reunion stuff because i'm not rushing it but august will be here before you know it and we have a lot of stuff that we need to do behind the scenes i mean the ba the the main stuff is in place but we have a lot of behind the scenes stuff that we need to get done so that's my day in a nutshell now let's jump into today's topic oh and y'all Remember the oils I showed you yesterday? I'm wearing my Egyptian musk and hunty. When I tell you it smells good, it smells good, okay? Anyway, today's topic is don't be afraid to fail. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I need you to not be afraid to fail. You know, we talk ourselves out of doing so many things in life because we're afraid to fail. No, we don't just, no, I don't know anybody. I know I don't. I don't wake up in the morning going, hey, pick me. I just want to fail today. No, we don't do that. But the reality is, is that in life, we are going to fail at some things. That's just a part of life. I mean, it just, it is. There's nothing you can do about that. But that's, I believe our failures also make us better people as well. So this quote that I'm going to share with you today is by Denzel Washington. It was a speech, I believe, that he gave at a, I want to say a college graduation. I, I know I've seen the whole video before, but this is just a snippet of it. But anyway, he says, fail big. That's right. Today's the beginning of the rest of your life. And it can be very frightening. And it's a new world out there. <clears throat> it's a mean world out there and you only live once. So do what you feel passionate about. I am a huge believer in doing what you feel passionate about. Not doing what your mom and them want you to do or what they feel passionate about. What you feel passionate about. Take chances professionally. Don't be afraid to fail. There is an old IQ test that was nine dots and you had to draw five lines with a pencil within these nine dots without lifting the pencil. The only way to do it was to go outside the box. So don't be afraid to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember dreams, and this is, I need you to listen. Dreams without goals are just dreams. Can I, I'm going to say that one more time because somebody blinked too fast and you missed it. Dreams without goals are just dreams. So I know a lot of us have dreams, but if you don't have a goal set to get from here to here, it's just a dream. I need you all to take some time this weekend to write down, if you have a journal, it should be in your journal. If it's not, get it in there. But I need you to write down those dreams that you have and start creating goals for achieving those dreams. Otherwise, they are just going to stay on your dream list. That's just the way life is designed. I didn't come up with that. And they will... I, sometimes I can't read my own handwriting and they will ultimately fuel disappointment. So dreams without goals are just dreams and they will ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but also have goals, life goals, yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals. He says, I try to give myself a goal every day. 
And I don't know about you, but every day I give myself a goal. Sometimes it's something small, sometimes it's something big. He says, sometimes it's just to not curse somebody out. Now I'm gonna put a pin right there, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I'm gonna be very honest with you. You know, I am probably one of the nicest people you will ever meet. And anybody that knows me knows that I don't make a habit of just cussing. But every now and then, if you push me too far, I can only take so much. I'm that person that I can just sit back and just look at you like you've lost your last good mind. But if you push me too far, you might end up getting cussed out. Like I said, I don't practice it, but every now and then it does slip out my mouth. I can admit to that. But sometimes a goal can just be not to cuss anybody out today. And I wake up every day with that that goal in mind. Now, does it always happen? Not necessarily, but it's still a goal every single day. He says simple goals, but have goals and understand that to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. Two things, in order to achieve your goals, you have to have discipline and you have to have consistency. In order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline, which you've already done, and consistency every day, not just on Tuesday and then miss a few days. You've got to be consistent. So it's just like as I work towards growing my YouTube channel and, and my following, I've got to be consistent every day, Monday through Friday. If you follow me on Instagram, or Facebook, I put up a motivational post every single morning faithfully. Every single morning. Not just when I feel like it. Because again, I've shared with, you, shared with you all before that some days I don't feel like motivating a soul. But I do what I do because it's not about me. It's about motivating other people. And I do that. I'm consistent with it. My YouTube channel. I'm consistent with putting up my videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. I'm consistent. Now, towards the holiday, I've decided that I'm taking the last two weeks, week and a half, two weeks off just to get myself together, just to regroup and just to, to plan for the upcoming year. But other than that, I am consistently putting out content. Now, I will say this. I have fallen off <laughs> of doing my podcast and I will get a podcast up if not today, tomorrow, but I will get back to doing that weekly because it's about being consistent. And again, it can't just be when you feel like doing it. It's got to be consistent. And I, I digress. Let me get back on track. Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay, so in order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline, which you've already done, and consistency every day, not just on Tuesday and then miss a few days. He says, you have to, you, God, my neighbor just pulled up with her music blasting. You have to work at it. Every day you have to plan, every single day. He says, you heard the saying, we don't plan to fail, we fail to plan. I don't know about you, but I don't wake up in the morning and say, um, I think I'm going to fail today. Mm -mm. I failed to plan, which is why I failed at whatever it was I should have been doing. Hard work works. Did y'all hear that? Hard work really does work. Working really hard is what successful people do. You have successful people. Why? Because they work hard. They are consistent and they are determined to achieve that goal. He says, and in the in this text, tweet, twerk world that you've grown up in, remember just because you're doing a lot more doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done. Don't confuse movement with progress. And you ever have one of those days where you've done 50 million things, but then you get to the end of the day and you go, God, I've done a lot of stuff, but I've only completed two, two tasks today. That's because you were so busy being busy that you thought you were getting stuff done and you weren't really making any progress at all. You were just busy. He says, my mother said you can run in place all the time and never get anywhere. So continue to strive, continue to have goals and continue to progress. Again, this quote is by Denzel Washington and it'll be in the description box. So 
to unpack that a little bit more, we talked about not being afraid to fail. And I just want to take a few minutes before I let you be just to to say to someone, I don't know who I'm talking to, but to say to someone, there's something that you want to do. There's something that you've been wanting to do. And you you were gung-ho, you were ready, you did your research and all of that good stuff. And then it came down, came down to actually doing it and you backed off. You said, whoa, wait a minute, I can't do that. Mm, I can't do that because what if I fail? What if it doesn't look like somebody else the way somebody else did it what if people think i'm not worthy enough to be doing this and you came up with all these excuses about why you couldn't do it well i want you to do this for me i want you to stop making excuses I want you to take the excuses, ball them up, and throw them in the trash because that's where they belong. We are not going to continue going through life making excuses about why we can't do things or why we shouldn't do things or or what if this or what if that or what if the other. What if? If you fail, so what? Here's the thing. I have more respect for someone who tries and fails than I do for someone who didn't try and so you never succeeded anyway i take my hat off to the person that says you know what i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna make this happen and you put everything that you have into it and even if it doesn't work guess what it doesn't matter because you can go back to the drawing board and you can say okay you know what i did abc and that didn't work. So now let me go try X, Y, Z and see if that works. And even if that doesn't work, you pick three other letters in the alphabet. Doesn't matter. Doesn't, I don't even care. But pick three other letters and you try those and you keep trying things until you find the combination that's going to work for you. The key is to do it. The key is to get out there and to try. Because here's the problem that we have. We think that if we fail, people are going to look down on us. Now, granted, let me just be honest with you. There are some people that will. There are some people that will look down their nose on you because you failed at whatever it was you tried. And they're going to say, mm, you know what, they couldn't even do that right. Well, maybe not. But guess what? At least they tried. What have you done? So before you decide to open your mouth open your soup coolers, as I like to call them, and, and, and put somebody else down for trying and not making it, look at your own life. What have you tried recently? Or do you just get pleasure out of sitting back, <clears throat> watching other people live their life? And if they, if they fail, then I got something to talk about. We can sit around the water cooler chit-chatting. No, get out there and do whatever it is that God has called you to do. Stop worrying about other people. But for those of you that are trying, even if it's not working out, I want you all, hold on, I'm about to roll this window down. Even if it doesn't work out, I want you to keep trying. Never give up. The, again, as I shared in, in the notes, my notes that I, I shared with you all, Denzel talks about successful people. They're successful. Why? Because they refuse to give up. They keep trying. They successful people say, I'm going to start this business over here. Even if it doesn't work out, it's okay. I'm going to start up another one. I'm going to do something different. And if that doesn't work out, I'm going to start that one. And they keep trying until they find the thing that works. That's the, the whole summation of what I'm sharing with you today is I don't want you to give up. I want you to keep trying if you're in a relationship and and there's a lot more good in that relationship than there is bad because let's just face it every relationship has its good and bad it's ups and downs ins and outs that's just life but if you have more good in that relationship don't be afraid to fail get out there and try sit down and talk to your other half and say look you know what we we have been at this for a while i love you you love me we're gonna make it work so we're going to try counseling. And if you all fail at that, then you try something else. If that doesn't work, you try something else. But don't give up. Stop being afraid to fail. And, and it's, it's mostly because you're worried about what other people are going to say and what they're going to think. I don't, I was getting ready to say something. I don't care what other people say or think. You know why? Because people are going to say it and they're going to think it no matter what. 
So you might as well go ahead and do whatever it is that God has called you to do anyway. Because people are going to talk. They're going to find something to talk about. They just, they always do. They always do. So if you're thinking about starting a business or whatever it is that you want to do, but you're worried about failing, I want you to throw that out the, 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 the window. Throw that into the sea of forgetfulness and just forget all about it. Because we are doing things with the mindset that we are going to win. Don't go into that thing worrying about failing. Go into it worrying about winning. And even if you do fail, so what? At least you tried. That's what bothers me, and I'm going to let you be. When people sit and they talk about somebody who tried to do something and it didn't work out, and, and people one day, you know how folks like to sit around and get catty. And in my mind, I'm thinking, but what have you done? At least they tried. What have you done? You haven't done a damn thing. But you want to sit up here and talk about what somebody else has done. Let's not do that. Let's not be those people. We are no longer going to be afraid to fail. We're going to get up. We're going to go out there and we're going to do that thing that God has called us to do. We're, we're going to do that thing. That's Because here's the thing. When you are afraid to fail and you don't try whatever that thing is, somebody is missing out on what it is that you have to offer. Always remember that whatever that thing is that you have to offer, somebody needs it. But if you don't try it, they'll never, ever, ever get a chance to experience it. That's why another reason why I don't want you to worry about failing. Get out there and go for it. And here's the thing. Even if you don't know what it is that you're doing, you don't know how to do it. Get with somebody that does. Get with somebody and says, hey, you know, I see that you've done ABC XYZ. I'm interested in doing that. Would you be willing to partner with me? Would you be willing to mentor me? Or however you want to phrase it. And get out there and get it done. You deserve to have the good, the, 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 the good things that life has to offer. So stop sitting back worrying about failing. That should be the, the least of your worries the very least of your words, way at the end of the list of things that you have to worry about. That should be at the end of that list, not at the beginning of the list. You all, that's it. That's my time. Like I said, I have some place I need to be in the next 30 minutes. So go out there, enjoy this beautiful Saturday. Right now it's 77 degrees and it's going to be a nice day, nice little breeze. And so I, I'm just going to enjoy this day to the fullest. I truly am going to enjoy this day to the fullest. And I have to remember on Monday, I have something I want to share with you all too. A project that I'm working on, I'm really excited about, but I'll remind you about that on Mondays. But go out there, enjoy this day to the fullest. Get stuff done. I don't know about you all, but if you don't have a to-do list, I need you to put together your to-do list because you have stuff that you need to get done. I have stuff that I need to get done. And I'm going to get it done. I need to get three chapters written this weekend. And this weekend means between today and tomorrow. So I'm going to get that done. Like I said, I have a book on my sisters. We're going to work on family reunion planning. And then I should be back home probably around about mm, five or six, six, maybe six o'clock. And I'm going to write until I get ready to go to bed. Tomorrow when I get home from church, I'm going to write some more. Because I'm going to get done what I said I'm going to do. We are not going to fail we are going to succeed with whatever it is that we put our minds to you can do it i can do it guess what we can do it so if you're new to watch my videos i want to say welcome thank you so much for joining me if this is not your first rodeo i want to say welcome back y'all know i miss you now i'm gonna get a chance to see you again go out there enjoy the rest of your day have fun be safe be careful wherever it is that you go and whatever it is that you do but most importantly, don't be afraid, afraid to fail. You can do this. You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. Now, you know the drill. You know the spiel. I love you to the moon and back and there's nothing. And I mean absolutely nothing that you can ever do about it. Because I'm always going to love you. I love you all no matter what. I love you through your ups and your downs, your ins and your outs. I love you when you're even afraid to fail. Because I believe in you. Go out there, enjoy the rest of your day, and we will talk again on Monday. Until then, take care.